Director of the Hudson Institute Center for Chinese Strategy. Good to have you back with us. Thanks, Shannon. I want to read something uh, in Newsweek, quoting the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson saying, I need to emphasize a plain truth. Hong Kong is part of China, and its affairs are entirely China's internal affairs. We urge the U.S. to stop interfering in China's internal affairs at once. Yeah, that's not quite true. Uh, Hong Kong was a British colony, and the British and Chinese negotiated about, for about 10 years on a joint declaration in which China made some concessions. So yes, Hong Kong is part of China. It's under the sovereignty of China. But those concessions that Beijing made were filed with the United Nations as a treaty. And one of the key points is an independent judiciary, a high degree of autonomy, and some other language which is more difficult to uh, interpret. But China, for 50 years, there's a time limit on this, they agreed that Hong Kong could be ruled in a more independent way with a kind of democratic elections than the rest of China. So that's what's at stake now for China. This, some of this is being watched in mainland China. Yeah. And they're thinking, hey, if they can demonstrate, why can't we? Right. And, and, so this, this is the, the dilemma for Xi Jinping. Right. And clearly that's the dilemma there. I, and you and I have talked about the fact that these people, and, and I read an interesting long-form piece in the Wall Street Journal today about one of the young men who's one yes. of the key folks here. They want democracy. They see the rest of the world. But it's not really what they have as an option long term. Uh, well... Well, depending the, on the how this goes. The, these agreements are, have some, in, some room to be interpreted. And that there's a political party in Hong Kong that says we deserve basically independence. They don't use the word independence, but they're doing a play on words. That What the Chinese did agree to is this phrase, high degree of autonomy. Well, who's going to interpret that? Mm -hmm. And to some degree, the, the judges in Hong Kong wear British white wigs, you know, and they use cite English case laws, their precedents. That's not China. Mm -hmm. But what, what China's doing is they don't have a good, large Communist Party there, so they, it's hard for them to control the place. But what, what they're trying to do is essentially say, okay, this is all up to Kerry Lam. But obviously, when the foreign ministry spokesman in Beijing is talking about terrorism and color revolution and this I'm telling us to stay violent crimes you know this is not a a good trend no, it's not. all right we'll continue to watch it because this we expect more protests there at the airport later today as well, well 80,000 american citizens are there more than a thousand american companies have their headquarters there mm -hmm. so we have a sort of there a stake a in this ourselves and they're accusing us of fomenting all this right.